7 now. World War II veteran laid to rest yesterday in Massachusetts. Fond farewells pouring in as a ceremony attended by hundreds of strangers. And people from all around the area were there to honor this hero who died with no surviving family members. The goodbyes, though, were far from lonely. Eyewitness News reporter Julian Lima has more on how the community came together for his honor. 97-year-old World War II veteran James McHugh died last week with no remaining family of his own, so the public was invited to attend his funeral. Hundreds of people turned out to honor a man they never knew but still admired immensely. A flag-draped casket carried through Bellevue Cemetery in Lawrence, Mass. Inside, an American hero, Private First Class James McHugh. Once I found out that this gentleman was part of uh, the, the landing at Normandy, I had to be here. The sacrifices that that generation made um, and the cause that they fought for, they all deserve our respect. McHugh saw two years of heavy combat during World War II. He stormed the beaches of Normandy, an assault so dangerous it left tens of thousands of soldiers dead. But McHugh survived and went on to outlive his entire family and all but one friend, Doris Savigny. My heart is breaking for her right now because she really, really misses him. But Savigny didn't have to mourn alone. She was joined by hundreds of strangers who stood in the cold, windy sunshine to pay their respects. I wouldn't miss it for anything. But as the number of living World War II vets is dwindling, perhaps we shouldn't wait until they're gone to honor and thank them. As I was driving over here, I was thinking that it's really nice that all these people are coming today, but he was probably in a nursing home. And it would be really nice if people would visit the nursing homes and visit the vets. Remember that we have men and women of that generation still among us. Let's make it a point to be present amongst them. 16 million Americans served in World War II. The National World War II Museum estimates 350 Great War vets die every day, and last year just half a million were still living. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.